Hello everyone, it's Steamboy27. Let's go! Last time we made it all the way to floor number two. Wow, that sucks, doesn't it? Oh, here we go. Now, from now on, every time you go into the tower, the second floor will also be an event floor. Many things can happen on this floor, but the most common one being the th that you meet Gosh. The stuck-up rich snob that lives next to you. And uh, we're gonna say the heterosexual thing. And we're going to battle for- we're going to battle him. Oh wait, did I say no? Crap. Well, you can battle him, and if you do win, you'll get a medicinal herb. That's basically all you'll get out of him, though. There's really no point in, fi in fighting Ghosh. You don't get any uh, points with him. You don't get any respect. Ghosh will be the same jerk throughout the entire game, no matter what you do. At least in the American version. So yeah. Ghosh. Eh. Ow. There we go. Now, I said earlier that I regenerate HP as I walk. Same goes for all monsters, so if you leave a monster alone too long, they'll also regenerate HP, so... Make sure you pay attention to that. Uh-oh. Ow. Now, if you want to maintain your position, but you want the enemy to move, you can always hold circle and triangle for one turn. There we go. How's Kuhn doing? Kuhn's okay. Alright, a wind crystal to get out of here. And a blaze ball, so now I can shoot magic. Unfortunately, it's not very effective on these guys. And then again, neither is this wind sword. Wind is not good on fire, wind is good on water. And I'm gonna die. Thank goodness. I'm looking for some traps so I can show you how it goes, but oh well. Now, like I said earlier, I want to, you should probably explore every floor. And unlike other LPs, you will probably be... Well, like like most LPs, really. I will be grinding every now and then. And, uh, well... I'll make sure I explain things per... Uh, make sure I explain things well. I might have a video full of cuts of different examples of traps if I come across them or different items. Oh, here's, an ex here's something I can tell you. In this area, I can't have Kuhn help me. So for this turn, you can command him using the command option, and he will mix magic with your, with your weapon. That way he isn't just standing there doing nothing. Ow. Oh god. Oh god. Um, hmm. Now's a good time to use a flayton ball. That was close. In this game, levels make a big difference. Just being one level below someone can really hurt you. Oh, I uh, I, I set off a trap, but it didn't go off. Good for us. Lucky. I really wish I could have seen what it did, though. Oh, here's a uh, flame and a panopa. A uh, cyclone and a panopa. The Cyclone will sometimes use something called an anorexia attack. It will make your ally monster not be able to eat things. It's actually kind of annoying. Notice how I did 13 damage to that Penopo over there? That's because my sword is Wind Genus. Uh oh. Another thing you can do is that you can pick up monsters. If you're strong enough, and you can throw them away. Like, I can't lift this flame because he's too heavy. Smaller monsters, however, are able to be lifted and thrown away. It's actually quite fun if you don't want them to get in your way. You just want an easy fix. If you do, if you walk around too long for, with them in your hand, though, they will get mad and they will get off. Uh, break free. Ow. Alright, let's go. Next floor. There are, I believe, 50 floors in total. And we will not be making it to the top this run. No, it'll be at least 30, 
Maybe 50 adventures. We'll have lots of adventures in this tower. Ah, we got a fire crystal. This fire crystal will summon Salamander, a temporary, uh, temporary familiar that will run around and kill everything, basically. It is not possible to have Salamander as a mon as a tamed monster permanently, unless you use glitches. Glitches I will not be showing because there are plenty of videos and guides that show that. I will be showing some really good glitches though, ones that aren't so broken. I really want to get to floor 13, was it 13? It's either, maybe it's 11. In one of the floors on the 10th floor, there is a- OW! Well, there you go, there you go. That is what a slam trap does. It shoots an object from the ceiling and hits our head with it. Does a moderate amount of damage. Okay, we want to stay back here. Or not. Get out of the way, Coon. Because I have a wind shield, the earth shield, it's gonna- Flame's gonna hurt me a lot more if he uses his spell. Got him. Because the basis of this game is exploration, a lot of the game can be considered dry by those who watch. I highly recommend you play this game along with me, or at least know what the game is about and know how to play. Otherwise, it's just a tower platformer. Ah. I hate sled. Actually, Flame- actually I lied. Flame is one of my favorite characters as an ally to use. Here's a balloon. The balloon's special ability is that it can lift you to another floor, depending on its level. If the balloon is level 20, you can use it to shortcut all the way to level 20. If it's level 50, you can use the shortcut all the way to level 50. And that is one of the ways you can easily skip to the highest level in the tower. Of course, I'm not going to be doing that, but hey, if you want to. You can grind your balloon to go up to level 50, or feed it a bunch of Mazar seeds, and you will basically be able to skip the entire game and beat it. Where's the portal? There's a portal around here somewhere. I need to... It's not a portal, it's an elevator, excuse me. I'm still in Dragon Warrior Monsters mode. Got it. I don't particularly know what decides who goes first in a fight. Usually it's gonna be you and then your monster. But it gets confusing when you start moving. Alright, we got a treasure loop, which allows us to see all the treasure on, this, on the current room. All the loops basically do the same thing. They show you the layout of the level, because if you know where all the treasure is, then you know where all the rooms are. If you have the star lens and look up the entire room, you know the entire room. If you know where all the traps are, you also know where all the... Well, but, uh, where all the rooms are as well. So basically, any loop will show you where all the rooms are. Like, I'll use it- I'll use the, uh, I'll use the loop right now. And ba bam I know where all the rooms are, because all the rooms contain items. There are no traps or items outside of rooms. Everything's gonna be in a room. The only thing you'll find outside of a room would be a monster. The exit loop, probably the only loop that doesn't show you, give you a lot of information about the map. Instead, it shows you where the exit is. And when I say exit, I mean elevator, which isn't really an exit. But hey, we can't be, uh, we can't be picky about our names, can we? All right, there's some, there's three items in here. And three items up there. Ooh, A and egg. Ooh, I want that. Ah. One of the most dev devastating things in this game is enemy magic. Ooh, a limit fruit. If you eat the limit fruit, you will increase your percentage of critical hits for a while. Very useful if you are preparing for a big brawl, which will not be happening right now. We got an egg, but we don't know what's inside. So once we get an item called the Truth Lens, maybe we'll be able to tell what it is. No, that's Star Glass. Oh wait, the Star Glass, does that let me? No, it doesn't. Where's the portal? Is it in here? No, it's not. Where's the portal? Gotta get the portal. Uh-oh. He's above me. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Holy cow. Alright, now I got high ground. 
typically you don't want to take that long to get to high ground, but if you can get to an if you can get to a higher area before the enemy within one turn, it's usually worth it. Oh, here's an interesting interesting enemy. This is the Manoeva. And the Manoeva will sometimes split into two every time it gets hit. Unfortunately, this Manoeva doesn't have enough room to do that. But oh well. The Manoeva can also transform its look into other monsters. It's like Ditto, except that it won't be able to completely copy another enemy's moves. Is Kuhn okay? He's not okay. Oh boy. What do I do? Ah, uh, here we go. I know what to do. You can tell Kuhn to move, and I want Kuhn to move backwards. That way, I can take the hit instead. And hopefully, by doing this... Let's see... Let me show you another use of the Wind Gem. Remember how it, like, returns as a town if we use it? Well, if we throw it at an enemy, it will kill me. Damn it. I missed. Of course I missed. Well, I guess I can show you now what happens when you die. Ugh. Oh, guys. Good morning. So, uh, yeah, when you die in the tower, you basically wake up outside with nothing. You have nothing. Thankfully, all your monsters will still be here. We'll add to items. So I lost my sword, I lost my items, nothing's with me anymore. So we gotta start all over. And if you talk to your mom, sometimes she'll tell you about things. So Mr. Isaac is telling us about stuff. Oh well. So if you tell your mom I'm off to the tower, then she will give you a pita fruit. She'll do this every time you go to the tower. Alright, so Mr. Isaac in front of the pond wanted to say something to us. Where is he? Is he here? Is it you? Yes, I understand that. Anyway... Somebody wanted to talk to us, huh? You know what? I don't care. Let's just go. Sure sucks that I died. Hmm. Well, we gotta start all over again. So this is what the, basically the game will be like. You will venture into the tower as far as you can before you either die or escape. Your monster is getting stronger as you go, and then slowly, little by little, you reach the top. Alright, so now all we have is Kuhn. So what I want him to do is I want him to get the in front of me and I want him to directly attack people. Oh yeah, he's already doing that. Good for us. So now we have a shield. You can still attack while uh while being unarmed. It just won't do very much damage. Whoa! Well, there's another trap for you. There's a go-up trap. And although it doesn't seem like a big deal, it seems like a blessing from God that you get to go up another floor, it may get in the way of you getting something important. You never know. And here's Ghosh again. No thanks. I accept your challenge. And by say I accept your challenge, I mean run away until my familiar gets there. There we go. And Ghost is pretty pitiful, so it's okay. And he will escape with his life. And a Wind Crystal. So, if you don't have a Wind Crystal, you can always fight Ghost to get a, mes a Medicine and Wind Crystal. So always do that. If you don't have a Wind Crystal already. I already had one, so I didn't fight him the first time. Alright, let's see if we can get back to where we were earlier. I need a sword, too. Crap. Good thing is, Kuhn is slightly powerful now, so I guess he can take care of himself, as well as me. Ow. Yeah! Alright, so we need to find a sword and a shield. A sleeping flame. Kill him! 
Yeah, as you can see, I'm doing barely any damage. Copper coins. All right. Ugh. I, I would at least like to get a shield. How unfortunate that I died. First, jeez, second time I went in here, I freaking... My monster got killed and I had to escape, and now I died. What a wonderful let's play this will be. Oh boy. Oh, a seed. A sea seed. A seed that will transform the enemy, or you, and when I say you, I mean you're familiar, into a monster with the water element. So if I fed this to Kuhn, he would have the water element on him. Now let me show you something interesting. If we use Mix Magic, which powers up our weapon attack, with our fingers, it will create a different move called Flay Finger. There's no real importance to this, it's just that it's funny because, uh, well, you're hitting people with your hand. Yeah, I'll let Kuhn take care of it. Don't look at- don't worry, Kuhn, I'm just here looking the other way. A wooden shield. Well, it's better than nothing. Ah, it was cursed! Oh, man. Well, because this thing was cursed, I can't take it off. So I won't be able to take this thing off until I get back home. So I'm stuck with a wooden shield for this, this, this adventure. Well, this sucks. A wooden shield that doesn't come off. That's just wrong. Alright, let's make it to the next floor, and maybe next time we'll get- we'll make some progress. But I have at least introduced to you the bad side of this game. It's really hard to start. Starting is hard. Starting out is very hard. Sort of like making Let's Plays on YouTube. Oh, uh -huh, see what I did there. Alright, well. Maybe I'll do two videos in one day. Now's not the time to have that kind of pace, but maybe later I will. One a day, one a night. Alright everyone, this is Steamboy27. Apologizing for the lack of progress and wishing you a better tomorrow. Have a good day, everyone.